Ooh, yeah. Daylight That's savings wild. time. Am I right, babe? She's so perky. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you understand what time it is, lady. <laughs> we are getting Christmas stuff out. Finally. It's always fun because you never, like, you forget about this stuff. It's Aww. finally September and we are so excited <laughs> to be decorating Christmas. Eliza, poppy ornament. You got that last year. I totally forgot that you got that last year. Yeah. We're going to put it on the tree. You don't know what a tr Christmas tree is, but we'll figure it out. Oh, and there's a whole bunch of Christmas books in here. Oh, yeah, Eliza. This is going to be fun. Those are my Santa shoes. <laughs> Finally got our new tree. It just came in. And um, it's a little heavier than, oh, no? More, I, I just ripped the box. Well, she just slid down to the front of it because I had one hand on it and it broke the handle. Looks like I'll have to buy another Oh, okay, yeah, no problem. Another one on? Yeah. So I just got done filming my Christmas gift idea video for Eliza for toddlers. I hear Eliza outside yelling and screaming. And so I'm gonna go and see what they're up to. I think they're raking leaves. And I can't bend over. <laughs> I, oh, this is a uh, prego problems, man. It's getting hard to put on shoes. Well, usually does it for me. Here's a big old baby. <laughs> Look at her little hat and her baby. Oh, I love her. Oh my gosh. What is dad doing? One, two, three. Oh my gosh. Wow. She's never played with leaves before, has she? Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Ah! <laughs> Want me to toss them up again? Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> hey, you well. Oh, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Paul took us on an adventure today, huh, Eliza? Look at this. What's that? Is that a salt lake? This? Yeah. Oh, it's a grinding stone Indians used to grind the corn. Mm -hmm. they? Mm -hmm. They're not puppies, Eliza. He's a coyote. She's so confused. Probably a bit traumatized. <laughs> Mac. It does look like a mask. That's called a skeleton. Mac. She calls all bones and stuff masks because of Halloween, because of skeleton masks. <laughs> Ooh, what's in there? Oh, cool. Snake, Eliza, we don't touch snakes, okay? I don't think I ever even mentioned, but we're on a small adventure today, because this guy really likes nature, don't ya? It's a auto tour where you can read about marshes and right things. The yeah. Where did your love of nature come from? Pittsburgh. Because <laughs> as a kid, 
I mean, we had we went to how many different like nature places, Mom? All of them. Enjoy your wild America. <laughs> Dad loves America. As a kid, I didn't appreciate it very much. Remember when I said, I'm never gonna make my kids go to places like this. I'm never coming to another but yet, Yellowstone. Yes, or we're strapped in the back seat here with us. I know. Did you see anything out there? <laughs> been, Dad said, whoever finds the first animal or eagle or bird gets a prize. I don't know what the prize is, but we gotta keep our been eyes reading peeled. Our literature. <laughs> yeah. We went on yearly vacations out west. And, and I don't think I have a, a super great appreciation for it, but I do appreciate that you guys always took us on trips. And you know, it stuck with two two out of the three kids, Dad. Caleb loves nature, Caitlin's an adventurer, and I just want to go to the beach in Disney World, so. It worked for two out of the three. <laughs> and look, guys, a marsh. Yeah. Mom wins, she yeah. found some ducks. That shouldn't be prize worthy, that's not exciting. That absolutely prize worthy. And not just one, but two. Quack, quack. Look at that, right, Eliza. Now, oh, oh my gosh, now that should win. Oh, oh Eliza, look, look at the deer. Yeah, horns. stop. Did you see? Did you see him go? I think she did. Whoa, he just yeah. jumped through the water. He ran away. She's so tired. She's skipping her nap today for this. I got it. Are you making pancakes? <laughs> Put these on the medium. Yep. Uh, uh, oh, don't do that. Mm -hmm. Um, I always like them a little runnier. Yeah, I do this whole thing. Um, oh. so you ready? Yeah. Got it on your toes. A catastrophe. Oh no. There we go. All clean. There we go. Do you need a fork? Yeah. Do you need a fork? Okay. Do you want me to cut it up for you? Cut yeah. it up? It's too big of a bite. It's a yum. Yum. <laughs> hello. Hello. Say yeah. hello. Hello. Say hi. Hi. Hello. say Aunt Caitlin. Anna. Caitlin. Say Caitlin. That's how she does it, Caitlin. That's as good as it gets. Today is Saturday morning. We've had a really nice, lazy morning. Holt uh, made a whole bunch of extra pancakes that I froze. Eliza and Holt are at the store right now getting some uh, grocery items. I've just been having constant Braxton Hicks. I mean constant. And I'm getting a little nervous because I also just lost a bit of my plug. <laughs> TMI, I know. But I think it has something to do with how many con like Braxton Hicks contractions I had last night. My belly was like a solid rock all night long. While they're still out at the store, I thought that I may should pack a few things or at least start getting things together for my hospital bag. I wasn't gonna pack my hospital bag um, until next week, but I'm thinking maybe I should start just so I'll have less to do if for some odd reason, I would go into labor this weekend. I also had a really good morning chit-chatting with my sister, less than a month until she's home for good, and I just cannot wait to see Caitlin again. She was talking to Eliza for a really good long time. She's just gonna be such a good aunt, and I'm excited to have her back in our lives. She's so funny. <laughs> I just love her. Another thing was that we were supposed to go this evening to visit my Aunt Holly and Uncle Todd and their family uh, to their like cabin area in the woods, but it's an hour and a half from our house and I don't know if I feel comfortable doing that anymore. So I think Holt and Eliza may still go unless I start having contractions, but I think I'm gonna stay home. I just think it's for the best. I don't think I should be out in the cold and walking around and I really don't wanna go into labor this weekend. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to um, chill, although if you're gonna go into labor, you're gonna go into labor and there's not much you can do about it. Okay, 
update time. The last time I think I videoed was yesterday. I was kind of feeling a little bit of labor signs, so I ended up cleaning the whole house. I think I overdid it, but I had a really fun day just kind of prepping for baby. I started prepping. I started um, kind of gathering things for my hospital bag. I cleaned the entire house. At the end of the day, I was then very, very achy. I decided to treat myself to a pedicure, which was phenomenal. I had a great evening, but by the time I was getting in bed, Hi. my back hurt so incredibly Hi. bad that I had to take uh, Tylenol Hi. for it. Well then, fast forward to like five in the morning, I wake up and I notice that I haven't felt the baby move for um, a while. Usually when I wake up, I wait for the baby to move, then I go back to sleep. Well, the baby wasn't moving at all. After drinking cold water, switching positions, going to the bathroom, he still wasn't moving. I get an apple, start eating some of that, still wasn't moving. I was shaking him in my tummy. And at this point, let's put your jacket on, because we're gonna go, we're gonna go bye-bye. Long story short, we could not get him to move. I woke Holt up in a panic. We went to labor and delivery. They monitored him. It t it did take them about 25 seconds to find his heart rate, which never happens. I legit was pretty panicked. It was very scary. Um, baby is fine, and um, I'm really ready for him to be here and so I can stop worrying so much. We were both all, all three, because we all had to go to the hospital this morning, like five in the morning. So we're all three pretty exhausted, skip church, and now we're gonna go get donuts. Are you ready for the baby to be here? Yeah, for a couple of reasons. <laughs> yeah. mostly, it'd be, mostly it'd be nice to wrestle with him and play with him. That's probably number one. Eliza, can you tell everybody that you're getting a haircut? Your very first haircut in a few hey, days? Back. The button? Yeah. Okay. Oh, look. 